Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to cold start the F-15 in Falcon BMS. The F-15D and the F-15C are pretty much the same, except for um, one small detail in third person. The D has is two seats, so they're basically the same. We'll do our data cartridge, as always. I feel like you should know that we do that every time. And then let's take off from the ramp. And I'll see you in the pit. All right, here we are in the F-15 cockpit. And we're going to start a cold start. I'm going to turn the pilot body off so that it's not in the way. All right, we're going to start over here um, with the canopy. We'll turn the canopy off, close it. Very cool. Okay, so here at the temperature control, we'll turn the air source to both so our avionics don't fry up while we're flying. And then we're just going to turn on every switch on the engine panel. And then we'll right click this uh, pull knob for the jet fuel starter. Once we do, we wait for this green light to uh, light up. There it goes, it lights up. Now we're going to click the right throttle's uh, finger lift tab here. We've clicked it. And then while it's warming up, we'll hold control and hit the backspace button to select the right engine, as you can see over here on the left. Takes a, uh, the first engine takes a couple seconds. There it goes. It goes to 25 RPM. And it will stay there at 25. All right, now it's staying at 25. We're gonna hit Alt-I. So if we come over here and we hit Alt-I, it moves our right throttle to the idle position. And now the RPMs are gonna start climbing. Yep, there it goes. So once it reaches around 40, all of the lights kind of come on in the, uh, in the cockpit. So we can begin fiddling with other systems while that engine turns on. Over here, there's the INS panel. We're going to switch this to PP, present position, for our data. And our mode knob to GC, which is our gyro compass. We're going to hit the ready button, and we're gonna hit enter. Those steps are now aligning the INS. We're not gonna touch this panel anymore until it's finished. All right, now the right engine is at 72 RPMs. We can start working on the left engine now. Hold control and backspace and select the left engine. We're gonna go back to the throttles and hit the left finger tab. And it will begin climbing. We're gonna wait until this, we're not gonna wait until this gets to 25 because if we don't touch anything else, it'll just keep climbing to 25. We're gonna turn on this knob. It turns on the radar screen or the VSD. We're gonna turn this knob uh, for the MPCD or the, M uh, the MFD, what have you, whatever you want to call it. Over here, we're going to change this to standby. This is the power for the radar. And once it's set to standby, it'll do a bit test for the radar. Okay, so now looking back at the RPMs, it's reached 25. So we're going to hit Alt I again, and that moves the left throttle to the idle position. And uh, that will turn on the left engine. We don't really need to mess with this anymore. And it should uh, it should be fine just to leave it like that. We're gonna hit control and backspace before we forget to select both engines. And then right here, we're going to switch the oxygen to on. This is for our oxygen. So that we don't pass out when we're going real quick. All right, let's look at our MPCD. We're going to click the M button here. For the menu, we're going to hit DTM for our data cartridge, and then read. This will start reading all of the data on our cartridge and uh, getting all of our stuff ready to go. While that's uh, turning on, our radar's turning on, and our uh, INS is turning on, let's come over here to this twos panel. This is our RWR panel. We're gonna turn the ICS on, the RWR on, the EWWS to on. 
to the right here this is a CMD this is our countermeasures dispenser we're going to turn it to manual but you can select uh, any of these three whichever one you prefer um, okay so over here to the left side behind the throttle there's this panel right here the EW this is our jammer panel we'll turn it to combat and uh, this button the this switch what it does is it doesn't do what it says it does in the F16 if you know the jammer pod uh, settings 1 2 and 3 this functions as 1 2 and 3 so manual is 1 2 is auto 3 is standby I'll just leave it at, uh, at auto uh, master I switch to norm the air uh, for the IFF the air to air interrogator I will turn on to auto so that I can use it um, here are the JTIDs. I'm going to switch this to norm. And uh, this is our radio panel here. We can select uh, radio, whatever radio frequency we want to go on. I usually leave it at 15 for the intra flight radio. Our external lights are here so that we can have the lights on however we want them to be. Our ejection uh, ejector, our seat ejection, we can arm. Um, up here is our taxi lights. We can uh, fiddle with those. Coming back here onto the right, we can adjust the interior lighting as desired. I accidentally turned them on earlier. I'll just turn them off. Okay. So, if we look on the front, um, our radar is now has a grid pattern, which means that the bit test is complete. So I'm going to zoom in here and turn on to operate. So now the radar is completely on. Um, our MFD will hit M for menu and sit for situational. This is our map. Now you see that we have um, waypoints now populated on the MFD. This means that our alignment is finished. So the alignment is blinking really quickly right here which means we can basically turn this on now so mode we'll left click at once to INS we'll hit the enter button and then we'll hit this ready button and now we can hit uh, this to destination and uh, you don't need to do that but it's good too the INS is completely on the radar is on everything is on down here, there's the symbol knob. Click it a bunch, turns the HUD on. And now uh, all of our systems are on. Our uh, INS is aligned, our radar is on, both engines are on. Um, all of our miscellaneous systems are turned on. And we are ready to go. We are combat ready.